Dancing Water. My name is Susan and welcome. I'm so glad you're here for a dancing water practice. Today, restorative yoga with some luscious nesting props. I offer two restorative yoga classes every week. On Wednesday, we use very minimal props, things that you can do anytime, anywhere, uh, very simple. And on Sundays, we nestle in and um, use some, a few more things to collect from around the house. Always though, nothing special. You don't have to buy anything. You don't need any kind of special yoga equipment. This is, um, this is all things that you can find around the house. So today what we're going to anchor our practice in is the word plum. Plum as in plumb the depths, right? Measuring depth. And one of the things that uh, I find in the restorative yoga practice is that deep happens not because we push or force or effort in any way, but rather we can go very deep by letting go, by softening, by relaxing. So that's what we're going to focus on. And so to set, set up your space, let's just begin with that. Make sure that the, the surface that you're on is soft. So whether that, that's on a carpeted floor, uh, put a blanket underneath you. I've got a carpet and a blanket. You can also use a yoga mat, but make sure that it has some cushion to it. There are some yoga mats that are very thin or even a little bit hard. You want to have the surface underneath you be soft. It's kind of a cloudy, cool day here at Dancing Water today. I almost always wear long sleeves and socks for this practice. Uh, as we relax, the body temperature goes down. So begin prepared for that so that your body can really let go and you don't get too cold. And then let's look at what we need. Let's begin with three firm pillows. So I'm sitting on two of them. Right in the middle of your space, stack two pillows on top of each other. And then just in front, a third pillow with a little space between these two and the one at the top. Then um, two bath towels and let's fold them together, you guys. So take a bath towel and we're gonna make them, if you've taken a class with me before, we're gonna make them into a towel square. So fold them long ways. And make sure that all of your edges line up. You wanna have a nice, even surface. So getting a little precise with it is really helpful. So, yeah. So, folding it like that and then folding it in half. So you've got a square. Yeah? Let's do it with the other one too. So folding the towel long ways, measuring up all the edges, and folding it in half, and then folding it in half again. So two towels, three pillows, then optionally, and but recommended is an eye covering, some kind of a scarf or a t-shirt or a small hand towel, which is what I have, and a blanket. Especially for the end of the practice, I definitely recommend that. And as always, a cup of tea. Mm. Mm, my dandy blend tea, or water, or something to mark the end of our practice together. So, my friends, let's begin by connecting with the breath and relaxing the body. If you need to pause the recording and go get yourself set up, go do that. I'll be here when you get back. So, as you're ready, just take a seat, and I like to sit with my hips a little bit higher than my knees, 
So I've got my, my, hip, my sitz bones right on the edge of the stacked pillows in the middle of my space. You can sit however feels comfortable. I'm just sitting cross-legged, but you could have your feet flat on the floor. You could be on a chair. Uh, just make sure that your body is comfortable. And then just let yourself rock a little bit side to side, front and back. And imagine a plumb bob, so a heavy weight suspended by a string. So imagine that your hips are the heavy weight and your spine is the string, and then feel as if you were being lifted through the crown of your head, and feel yourself in the center. So not too much to either side, not too much to the front or back. Softening your eyes. And let's take what we call a square breath. So inhaling to one, the count of four, inhale, holding at the top to the count of four, exhaling to the count of four, and, in, and holding at the bottom to the count of four. Let's do that together again. Inhale, one, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, again. Inhale, two, three, Four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. You can take it deeper, longer if you like, just keeping it even on each side of the square following your own breath. Doing two more rounds at your own pace. Whenever you finish your second round, just coming to a smooth, even breath, letting yourself arrive right here in this practice that you have so generously and wisely given yourself. Let's begin with our first pose here, a side opening, and again, finding depth without force. So taking, so we've got our two pillows that are stacked. Again, you could do make some kind of stack with blankets or more towels, but you want to have the center be higher than the end. You may want to have a towel on the edge of your pillow here, depending on your body length and the sensation in your neck, you may want that there. And the second towel be between your knees and or your ankles. So taking one hip right up against the edge of these two pillows, placing the towel on your top knee, and take your top hand 
and inhale up and over and exhale drape your body over this mound of pillows and then let the top of your head this face right above your ear rest on the other pillow and or the towel now stacking your knees on top of each other and get a little cushioning, a little support between your knees and or your ankles. And just pause here and notice the sensation in both sides of your rib cage. The top side as you breathe, fans open, while the bottom side softens into the support underneath. And then adding some movement if you like. Inhale, lengthening leg and arm. Exhale, down. Your hand floats down to your hip, knee together, and then inhale. And exhale. Finding length and depth without overdoing. One more time. And then choose a place to pause. And maybe you want to keep the movement going, especially if your mind feels busy that may feel good to just keep your leg and arm moving with your breath. Another option is to have your arm stay overhead and your leg stay long. For me and my shoulder, that doesn't feel that good. So I might want to either rest my hand back here or actually my favorite is to take my arm behind my back creates a little opening through my chest and shoulder without strain. Another option is to have your hand rest in the front. So experiment, let yourself fidget around and feel what feels right. Checking into the sensation in your neck and head, make sure that it feels supported here. And then deep in your breath, letting your bones go. You can close your eyes or soften your gaze. Relax your jaw. Noticing the sensation between your rib cage and your hips. Feeling gentle waves of breath, floating your bones. See if you can relax the inside of your ear. 
in the centers of each palm. You're welcome to deepen your breath, plumbing the depths of your belly, your spine with breath, or allowing it to simply do whatever it needs to do. Then taking a couple more breaths and maybe finding extension again if you haven't already without overstretching. This is just about allowing yourself to unfold into this shape. Like unfolding a beautiful origami animal, just gently letting the creases soften open. And then take your top hand and push it down right underneath your shoulder and bring yourself to vertical. So let yourself slowly come to vertical. Let me just show you how we're gonna transition very gently, just move your knees. They are facing one direction and now face them in the other direction. Your hip comes right up against the pillows. Your top hand lifts up and over and drape yourself over the other side. Again, adjusting your head pillow and towel, adjusting the towel between your knees and your ankle. So let yourself feel this side. It may feel very different. And inhale, lengthening over and exhale. Keep following your breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, connect. So I'm going to do the same side again so I can stay connected to you. But you just keep going. Inhale and exhale one more time, friends. Lengthening out, unfolding the origami, and folding. And then, again, just pausing here, making any adjustments that you need in order to come to stillness. So you could rest your hand over your ear, rest your hand at your hip, in front of you or behind you. Feel what feels right. Leg, same thing, can be out long or tucked in or any variation on that. Take a couple of deep breaths, letting yourself settle yourself into this side, this shape. Noticing any differences, any, anything that may feel a little irregular on this side, but know that each side of our body is very different and it is not just normal but natural that our two body sides are 
really different in how they hold tension and tightness, how they carry themselves. Take some breaths into the arches of your feet. Drawing your breath all the way down your body. Check out your eyes, the little muscles around your eyes, around your mouth. For me, when I hold tension in those little muscles, it usually means that I'm thinking a lot. You notice that too, give yourself a little smile, an internal smile, take a breath and unwind. Let the muscles on your brow, your forehead smooth out like a linen sheet, smooth and soft. Top ribs floating while bottom ribs sink. Feeling the kindness of stillness and letting go. Reminding yourself that stopping is as much of a practice as doing. But allowing stillness is as important as action. Taking a couple more breaths here. And as you're ready, if you may want to find length, if you haven't already, unfolding that origami animal of your body. And then very gently come back, palm places right under your shoulder. And one more time, coming back up into upright. Mm. Notice the sensation in the space at your neck and at your waist. See if you can find some softness and fluidity at your neck and waist. Nice. So then moving the towel square to just to the side of your pillows here. And you're just going to leave these pillows exactly as they are, this curved surface. And we're going to come into crocodile, actually, maybe the only shift. 
might be to move everything up a little bit so that if you don't have to do that. I just want to make sure that my whole body fits into the, the, the screen. So come into all fours over your towel, your pillow mound, and then gently soften yourself down so that your knee is supported with your towel and your elbow is in close to the knee. And the other side of your body, arm and leg are long. Your eyes can look to either side, but obviously we're going to do both sides, so you can do whatever feels good for your neck. Take some long breaths into your sacrum, the very base of your spine. Imagine this flat, bony structure softening and spreading out with every breath. Palms of your hands both release into the floor, a symbol of non-doing. So the hands are the doers, and here we're allowing them to stop and put down. Feel your hips on both sides, both the bent leg and the straight leg. Notice any differences in the sensation in the joint and in the muscles around the joint. Relaxing your eyebrows. And the spaces right behind your ears. Just noticing your breath. Noticing that your body will take a breath as deep as it needs. As your nervous system begins to relax, feel supported and safe, Your respiratory system will respond. Then taking both hands with elbows bent, 
and extending both legs long and together. Use both hands to push down and just for a moment we'll come into a child's pose resting your forehead onto the pillow breathing into your back body you might take your hands and put a little pressure on your low back and then slowly come up and take your towel to the other side Come back into all fours and bend the other knee and elbow, letting the other side of your face rest on the towel or the pillow. Notice the sensation. I'm going to turn my head so that I'm in connection with you, but you respect and honor your neck and allow both sides to receive a gentle opening. Breathe into the spaces around the balls of your feet and your heels and your toes. Hands soft, dropping the doing. Mm. Hips heavy. Noticing any differences in the sensations on either side of your hips. Notice what happens at your waist as you breathe. This halo of softness circles your low back, belly, sides, back. What happens to that space as you breathe? Notice the length of your inner thigh on both sides, both your bent leg and your straight leg. Feeling the distance between groin and inside of the knee. Imagining that space unfurling with every breath.
allowing everything to slow down. Your movement, your breath, your thoughts. As you're ready, bending both arms and extending both legs. And again, slowly pushing back into child's pose, just for a moment here, just to reset the hips. Lengthening through the back of your neck. Then again, let yourself slowly, slowly come to upright, letting your head come up last, and again, feeling some fluidity in your waist and in your neck, feeling this plumb line from crown to tail. And now leaving the pillows exactly as they are, take your second towel and roll it or fold it into a log, placing this near the bottom of your mat or space, and we'll come to it in a moment. Very slowly turning yourself around for a heart opening position. So using your legs bent and your both strength of your arms, soften your body back and down over the pillows. So check out the head arrangement. For me, I definitely need some more support under my head so that my chin comes down. The chin lifted is a signal to the nervous system that something is not right and needs alert. So we want the shin to be down, close to the chest, so the back of the neck is long. Now, legs come long here. Arms can come to the sides at about 45 degree angle. You may also rest them on your pillows or on your body if that feels good to you. You could also slide them underneath the, the pillows, which is what I love to do. There's that sense of connection with the hands. Oops. You may, <laughs> you may want to grab your, pillow, uh, your blanket and your, your eye covering or later. For now, bend one knee up and cross your foot over your other leg and take the opposite hand. So here I've got my right leg and my left hand, but without pulling, just using the weight of your hand and arm, just create a little bit of traction along the outside of your bent knee. Notice if any gripping happens in your inner thigh or your belly or your breath. If that happens, just take a deeper breath. Just creating a little length 
the outside of your thigh from your low back to the outside of your knee. Then uncross your leg, release your hand, extend both legs long, just rock your heels, the moons of your heels onto the floor, side to side. And then pause and just notice if you sense any difference in your two legs. And then bend the other knee up, cross over your leg, your long leg, Take the opposite hand, and without pulling, just creating a little bit of traction, just using the weight of your hand and your arm, feeling some expansion through the space between your low back and your bent knee. Again, Checking your head, letting your nose be toward the sky, your chin tucked in. Softening your lips, your tongue, making a little space between your teeth. One more breath here, and then uncross your legs, extend both legs long, and rock your heels side to side on the floor. And pause just to notice the sensation of both sides of your hips. Now you're welcome to stay here if you like. You might also take your towel and put it under your knees for a little bit of support. Take your eye covering, drape it lightly over your eyes and take your blanket and take it over your torso. So here, you could let, you could let the blanket drape over your whole body, especially if you're feeling cold that's a great idea. But for me, I often love the feeling of just a little bit of weight. The sensation of this folded blanket giving the top of my body this reassurance, this support from above as the earth gives it support from below. Toes flop out to the side, hip joints completely lets go. Feel the space at your heart. your heart center right behind your sternum, your breastbone. Imagine it like a big, soft, blossoming flower. A peony, a hydrangea, or a cabbage rose. And 
your heart, every time you inhale, petals unfurling and opening to the sun above. Every exhale, the petals folding in onto themselves, closing under the moon. Exhale, connecting into the bud, the essence. Inhaling, blossoming open. Your heart blooming and folding in, fragrant and alive. sensitive to what's moving inside and the environment around it. What does your perfectly imperfect heart need right now? Allowing your breath like a warm early summer breeze moving through your body, looking for any pockets of holding or gripping, any places of habitual tension. And with kindness, inviting unwinding that is not forced not efforted, but allowing. Anytime you want the breath to be audible, to sound with humming or a sigh, one of the great gifts of online practice is that you can make any sounds that you like. Nobody's listening. Relaxing your ears to any sounds in the space. Listening beyond my voice. To the sound of your own breath. Sounds in the room. The 
sounds outside the room. Allow them to float through like wisps of cloud. Friends, you are welcome to stay right here exactly as you are, as long as you like. Most of us could use as much relaxation, as much restoration as we can spare. Welcome to pause the recording and finish whenever you're ready. And whenever you're ready, let your hands come up and gently circle your wrists, flex and stretch your wrist joints in circles, front and back. Then pointing and flexing your feet, circling your ankle joints, stretching your fingers. And then bending your knees one at a time. Take a breath here, just let yourself pause with your knees bent. Notice how that changes the sensation in your hips and your spine. And gently roll to one side super slowly. Press down. And come back up to a seated pose any way that feels good. You may want to wrap a blanket around you or keep it right at your belly. Taking tea or water. Pausing to honor the power and importance of this restorative practice. Remembering that a brain that is in stress it's not able to make decisions in a skillful way. And that to relax our nervous systems is to engage higher level of thinking, higher level of emotional intelligence, thinking, speaking, and acting with skill. So taking a breath, Inhaling, smelling this moment, and then taking a sip. Thank you for being here. Thank you for giving this selfless gift to yourself <laughs> and to everyone you interact with today. You matter, and your choices matter, so thank you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do that right below. Click the bell to receive notifications for new practices as they arrive. And please generously share 
and uh, spread the word about dancing water practices that are available for free to anyone who needs them, no matter who they are or where they are. You can connect with me at my blog at focuspocusnow.com and at my website at susanmcculley.com. I always love to hear from you. Comment, send me an email, please let me know how you're doing and how I can help more. Until next time, friends, take care of you. Mm.